What's up guys? Today's video, I'm pretty excited. This is the brand new Android smartwatch, the TicWatch Pro 5 by Mobfoy. I've reviewed the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra in a previous video, which I can link down in the description. This one is a brand new one that's been rumored to come out for a very long time now, and I'm super excited that it's been released. This is roughly around 330 pounds on the time you're watching this video on launch. So check out the link in the description to find the latest pricing information depending on which country you're in. Essentially, this is going to be one of the best Android smartwatches I've reviewed and it has a whole bunch of features that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and unbox this first, then I'll run into all of the key features and specs, and then we'll try out some of the apps built into this watch, especially around your workouts and exercise. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so you'll notice from the design of the box actually from previous TicWatch models, this is a long thin box, which is different to the traditional square based box that you expect from TicWatches. There we have the watch right there on the top, nicely placed. So it's a quite a similar design to the previous tick watches if you just look at it from afar. It does actually feel a lot lighter when I'm holding it because I have reviewed and used previous tick watches. Let's peel this protective cover off. So a couple of extra accessories that come in the box, a quick start guide, product safety information and the USB charging cable for the watch. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this up and once it's done, let's dive in and look at some of the features, the specs and the different capabilities of what this watch can do. So let's go ahead, put the charger in. So you can see it's almost full battery. So we'll go ahead and pair this to our Android phone for the very first time. Okay, so as the watch is turning on, it will go into pairing mode. Traditionally, with a lot of Android watches, including the previous Tick watches, you were required to use the Wear OS app to connect to the watch. This is no longer the case. This new Tick Watch Pro 5 is based on the Wear OS 3 platform, which means you can have your own custom app to connect to and do all of the things that the native Google Wear OS app can do as well. The Mobvoi Health app is what you will need, and you can download that in the Google Play Store. So now the phone, you can see, it goes into pairing mode. Let's open Mobvoi Health. Add new device. You can see Pro 5 appears on the list. Confirm the code is the same. And then you should be ready to have everything connected. And you can see how quick this was. And you're pretty much up and ready to start using the watch. Okay, so everything is now connected. Let's take a look at the app quickly. You can see the connection, 77% battery. If you hit tiles there, you can select which tiles you want to display by default. I like to have a little calculator on the front as well that I can swipe through, so I'll turn that on. You can enable and disable whichever one you want. I'll also set exercise. And you're able to set up to 10 different tiles that you can swipe through from the home screen on the watch. If you go into settings, all the common settings that you would expect. Usually I like to have the screen timeout a little bit longer. So I will change that to about 15 seconds. And then you can go through and have a look at all of your custom settings across the various different categories for the watch. Pretty straightforward. If you want to change the face, you've got this little menu icon next to the edit button. Plenty of options in here. And for me personally, I like to find one that suits my fitness lifestyle. I think this fitness circle one looks quite nice, so I'll go ahead and hit apply. This will come straight onto the watch, as you can see. So before I run into all of the features on the watch itself and run through the apps and how it works and how it performs, let's go and run through the key features and specifications of the TicWatch Pro 5. So let's take a look at the key features and specs with this new watch. One of the biggest features I always look out for when I'm looking to buy a new smartwatch is the battery life. This one has to be one of the longest lasting battery lives I've seen on an Android smartwatch, coming in at up to 80 hours on smart mode and lasting up to 45 days on standby. And with that, you can fast charge this and get 65% extra charge in just 30 minutes. The rotating crown can do many things, but it also comes with haptic feedback, which is a nice touch. 
This has iconic dual layer display, which is now redesigned with a heart rate zone backlight of up to 18 different bright colors for an ultra low power display to fit your look. What that means is when you're exercising, you can track your heart rate by the backlight changing colors to track your heart rate. So if you start with a light warm up, for example, it can go from a very serene aqua color during a warm up all the way through six different color zones up to a sharp orange, which will indicate a very high heart rate. The second layer display stays on top of your health data via five switchable tiles, such as notifications, heart rate, blood oxygen level, and calories, keeping you informed of your workouts no matter the scenario. Speaking about workouts, the TickWatch Pro 5 comes packed with over 100 different types of workouts, so you'll be sure to find whatever routine you want to track. Once you've completed your workout, this also shows you the recovery time, the amount of time it will take for you to fully recover from your exercise back to normal health metrics. And again, speaking of health metrics, you can get a one tap measurement of multiple metrics in one go, which makes convenience at the forefront of these features. The watch itself is 5 ATM water resistant, making it very capable to go swimming in open waters and has the industry standard Corning Gorilla Glass, continuing their trend of making the watch very durable to harsh environments. And of course, many other features you come to expect from a smartwatch of this caliber. But finally, let's talk about the biggest update, which is the Snapdragon W5 Plus Gen 1 chipset, which is the key factor driving the performance improvements on this watch. Now this screenshot shows you the full specs of this new chipset and platform in comparison to the previous Wear 4100 platform that were very common in Wear OS watches. There's a lot of technical information on this screenshot, so pause the video if you want to read them in more detail, but let's focus on the improvement factors on the right hand side here, across the four categories listed on the left, which is what will matter most to customers. You have 50% improvement on power consumption with the W5 Plus platform, meaning you will get much longer battery life, especially when it comes to the number of days you can use the watch from a full charge, which for me personally is a big improvement that will be greatly appreciated by all the users. You get two times the faster performance and two times more richer features that give customers a premium user experience, making things more immersive, interactive, allowing for constant always on measurements of their health metrics and even fitness metrics and a whole lot more. And finally, due to the size of the chipset, it is 30% smaller and thinner, allowing for watches to be built with a more sleeker design overall. Okay, so let's have a quick run through of the watch. You press the button to turn it on. I've set a pattern lock. You can also set a pin lock to the lock screen. So I'll unlock this now. So by default, you have your face selected. If you hold it down, you can cycle through all of the different faces that you saw on the app. So I'll just leave it on my first one. If you swipe down from the top, this is your control center. You can turn on various different settings for the watch as you would expect. Scroll from the bottom, these are your notifications. And when you scroll left or right, this will cycle through the list of tiles that I've shown you. You can have a maximum of up to 10, but these are my main ones. If you hit the wheel button, this will open up the full list of apps. And you can also customize and download more apps from the Play Store to have on your watch. So one tap measurement, I think that's the really useful feature as well. If you want to just check all of your health metrics in one go, like I mentioned in the features. So here I'm doing the one tap measurement of four different health metrics. You can see my heart rate, blood oxygen and respiratory rate is in progress. There you go. All four are complete. Blood oxygen normal. These are my metrics. Medium stress level, which means I need to focus on a little bit on managing my stress. And you can also track this throughout the app. So once this is done, you can go back into the Mobvoi Health app and check out the data and keep track of this over time. If you want to do this on a daily basis, then that might be useful just to see how you progress. And just there on the app, you can see the data has been collected pretty much instantly. So you can use these to track your health metrics over a certain period of time. Let's go ahead and check out the tick exercise. This is what I'm going to be using the watch mainly for, is when I'm at the gym and doing a lot of different workouts, I can select one out of hundreds of different exercises, as you can see. So plenty of options for pretty much everyone. And I'm gonna now showcase how it works with the iconic dual layer display. When I do a weightlifting workout and a bit of a hit cardio workout on the treadmill as well, to show you how it changes color with the intensity of your workout. So let's take a look at that now. So here I've been running on my home gym treadmill for over 13 minutes now and my heart rate is at 152. So you can see the backlight is a fiery orange color 
being in the high heart rate zone. Now I'm over half an hour done and my heart is slowly dropping and you can see around the 120 BPM, the backlight is yellow. And then a few minutes later when I've rested my heart rate, you can see the backlight is now this nice aqua blue, indicating that I'm in my resting heart rate zone. And then once you've stopped the exercise app, here's how the results will look on the watch. And it actually shows really good meaningful data, including the total recovery time, my average and maximum speeds I ran. And when you scroll right to the bottom, it shows you how much time you spent warming up, burning fat, performing the main cardio, and even any time spent within dangerous levels. So all in all, this is a perfect watch for recording your workout metrics in higher detail. So let's look at some of the other features which I think might be useful for you guys. When you do put this on, if you tilt it towards you, you can see there's a nice little blue display that lights up and gives you a bit of a backlight so you can see the time and the date, all the important information with the iconic dual display. Let's swipe down and look at some of the things in the control panel. So you have your Wi-Fi, your water mode if you wanted to go swimming, lock the screen, you have a torch as well, so it makes it very bright. Tap it, it goes red, tap it again and it turns the torch off. You also have the option for Google Pay, so you can add your card to this and it has NFC. Use it for a lot of convenience if you're out and about and you want to make contactless payments. Do not disturb mode, then you also have a cinema mode, so if you go to the cinema to watch a movie, this will basically turn off the screen and all of the wake gestures, all the alerts will be silenced so you can actually enjoy your movie. You also have bedtime mode. This will basically turn off the screen, the tilt to wake and all touches. The alarms will stay as a priority so you can wake up. And if you do get any repeat callers, this will notify you. You also have your battery percentage settings and then the ring on to have sound coming from your watch rather than silent mode. So if you go into settings, you can change your connectivity from here. If you go to display, you can change various different options for always on, tilt to wake, adjust the brightness. If you go into brightness, I've set adaptive brightness to be on, but let's take a look at how clear this looks, even outdoors in sunny weather. You can go a lot brighter, or if you wanted to keep it very dim, you can also do that. I'll leave it on number two and just leave adaptive brightness on, but there's plenty of options that you can play around with. So here's me using it outdoors when it's very sunny. And I've got the brightness level set to its max, but even if I go down to its lowest, it's still visible. But on the max, you can see everything clearly. So it doesn't matter if you're just going to check the time or going to use one of the other apps on the watch, you can be sure it's going to be absolutely clear in direct sunlight. Then you also have gestures. So you can do touch to wake. So you tap on the screen, it will wake it up. You also have the option of touch lock and touch and hold watch face to change like I showed you earlier. You can also customize your apps and notifications, sound, vibration, general settings, health profile, and all of the other options you expect from settings. So that's everything from the control panel, which I think is very nice. And it just gives you a lot of convenience. If you hit edit at the top of this, you can actually reorder the ones that you use quite often and move them around. And you can also check out which ones you want to add from here from the Mobvoi Health app. And one other thing I wanted to show you is how you can reply to text messages. So I will send a WhatsApp message to this number. Mm -hmm. There we go, I've got the message come through. So now if you swipe up for notifications, you can see the message is there. If you go into it, you can add emojis, you can do a voice note, or if you open up the keyboard, you've got the full keyboard here. I found that it is actually quite easy to type with this. You don't generally make that many mistakes. So you've got all of the characters and the symbols that you need and very easy to navigate. You've got the emojis quite large and easy to cycle through as well. So let's just add one of these. And you go back and then you can hit send and it's now replied. So using the text message feature on here, I think is very convenient. You can also take an answer phone calls using the inbuilt microphone and it should be absolutely fine. Okay, so now let's test out the speaker quality by making a phone call directly onto the watch. I have used this to make phone calls and it is very clear even when I'm using this outdoors. So I'm gonna go ahead and call myself from my other phone directly to my Android phone and it will come onto the watch. So I will answer the call and I will step out the room into the other room and play back the audio so you guys can hear this. The watch, I've placed it to the right hand side of this screen because it's very close to my shotgun microphone, which is slightly outside of the frame. So let's go ahead and make the call. And I'll make sure it's at max volume. Okay, so now I've stepped into the other room. 
The audio you're hearing is coming directly from the TicWatch Pro 5 and it is very clear. I've made a couple of phone calls and communicated directly from the watch itself. It's so convenient, especially when you have a lot of ambient and background noise when you listen to it outdoors. It does a reasonable job. Most likely I will use this indoors if I don't have my phone near me. And if you're the type of person that would take phone calls on your watch, I think this just sounds great. Okay, I'm back in. Hopefully you guys heard the quality of the audio on the watch. For me personally, if I am going to answer phone calls with my watch, I need to make sure I can hear the other person and the quality on this is very good and I haven't found any faults with that. So a great job on the speaker quality. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this review useful of the brand new Tick Watch Pro 5. As always, if you have any questions about the capabilities and the use cases of this, or maybe if you wanted to find out how it performs in other areas apart from exercise, always drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to check out all of the links in the description to find out all the information you need and especially of how you can go ahead and purchase this and all of the latest pricing details of the new watch. And make sure to like this video, subscribe for all new tech that I do every week and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.